known about Redbird Mission many years. Uh, I grew up in an adjacent community. Uh, didn't go to school here, but interacted with them throughout my entire life ever since uh, actually grade school. By trade, I'm actually an engineer, uh, but I volunteered in many capacities with the mission, starting out with coaching grade school basketball 30 years ago. And uh, been board member, been board president, uh, volunteered uh, various things with high school, grade school students, and also with the community. I'm uh, the fire chief at the volunteer fire department, uh, so I've worked in and participate in many different activities with the mission here. Well, I think the heartbeat is uh, to improve everyday life here in, in this area. You know, most of southeastern Kentucky is a depressed area as far as uh, uh, employment, as far as uh, life as a whole. And, uh, the mission reaches out and touches a lot of families, a lot of individuals uh, through education, through uh, ministry, through uh, just every little thing uh, throughout the day and throughout their life. We have a number, number of different missions, individual missions that's associated with the Redbird mission as a whole. Uh, one is education. Uh, we have a, a school, private Christian school, uh, kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, on top of that, uh, we offer classes for individuals that weren't fortunate enough to graduate to get their GED. In fact, uh, I think this year we have 13 adults that are in that uh, program. We also have uh, programs for uh, food programs to distribute food to the, to the needy, clothing programs, uh, and also to uh, try to get all the people in the area involved with these programs and to minister to them through the various churches that are out in the community. A lot of people with the, the mission, in fact, majority of them, uh, interact on a daily basis with uh, local people. Uh, uh, talk to them about God, talk to them about uh, uh, their life, what they're doing with it, uh, what can the mission do to help them with, with their life, both spiritually and uh, just their everyday life. So it's, it's, it's a really complicated, some things that are done, but it's all reaching out to try to help the people in the community, both spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever the case may be. That's one thing that our school has that uh, the state supported schools can't. We have Christian education. We teach the Bible in, in school. Uh, we also have just recently uh, remodeled and set up a new chapel in the school to where the students have a place to go to worship actually in school. Uh, so that's something that you cannot get in, in any of the, the uh, public schools. Uh, we start young. We start teaching the students when they're in kindergarten, preschool actually, uh, about Jesus, about the Bible, about uh, Christianity, and hopefully that's going to influence them as they grow older to take the right path. A number of different ways. Uh, of course, uh, everyone says the number one way is financial. Of course, make financial donations to, to support our cause here. Others are to volunteer your time. Uh, come here to Redbird, see what it's about. Uh, if you feel that, that you have something that you can provide or donate to, to the mission in time, come and spend some time here and, and, and work in the community, help the students, help the people in the community. And uh, also just uh, other donations other than, than money, uh, clothing, food, anything that, that would help the people in the area. We reach out across the country for prayer support for, for the people in this area. Not only the people, but us as people that are here to help. Uh, although I'm locally born and raised here, I'm involved with, with the mission just as if someone had come in as a missionary to help in this area. So we reach out through various uh, 
ways, newsletters, um, of course videos, uh, uh, through uh, uh, sometimes advertisements on local TV stations to get people to help with the ministry that we have here. I think that uh, this is what God wants me to do. I don't have a lot of spare time, but the spare time I have, I do devote to helping with what we do here uh, in my personal life. And, and I've had children, my children graduated from Redbird. I've still got one going to school at Redbird. So uh, I'm very involved in it, and I just think that that's what God wants me to do. Uh, if you feel it on, uh, in your heart and on your mind to come in and help or come in and visit and see what's here, then uh, I think you'll see the work being done here is work for God. And He may touch your heart and want you to come and help. So I think that uh, uh, let's try that and see what happens.